Well, some say it's the future mm -hmm. of transportation, a car that drives itself. Next, meet the university students who just might be the first to actually invent one. We're with them for a road test. Researchers all over the world are looking at building the first reliable autonomous vehicle, a car that drives itself. But two university students just might beat them to it. Kevin Fleming checks on their progress. I'm going inside range. I'm in three. They're testing the laser distance center mounted on the front of the golf cart. And just the one? Uh, I don't actually have our key plot oh, okay. right now. So <laughs> Images are transferred to the computer where you can see Mike Scoopian moving back and forth. So we have two pieces. The GPS guides it. It runs based on pre-recorded GPS routes. And then the LiDAR on the front allows it to stop for obstacles, even down to if you're sitting cross-legged on the ground, it'll still see you and stop for that. Things are looking pretty good. The yeah. second year University of Waterloo students formed their own company called Varden Labs <laughs> and started work on their autonomous shuttle in May. By June, they had a working model. We've got the GPS system and our laser distance sensor. Um, those both talk to the computer and the computer interprets both the GPS and that and figures out where obstacles are and where we need to drive and then sends commands to the computer on the inside here which talks to the motor for brake, the motor for steering and the throttle of the golf cart. They've been testing it in parks but now it's time for a road test so excited. Wow, yeah. this is cool. this is... where it can get up to its maximum speed of 20 kilometers an hour. There are others in the world working on similar projects. In terms of shuttles, uh, there are a couple companies. Um, one of them is uh, Navia out in the UK. Uh, they received about $19 million of government funding. Um, and honestly, they have exactly what we have today. But their budget here is small, hovering around just $10,000. It's money out of their own pockets. When everyone thinks self-driving cars, they think, this is going to be a billion dollar project. Someone's going to raise huge money. Um, and we, we were honestly, we, last summer, kicking around. We're like, we could build one of those. How are it going to be, right? And uh, so we did. So the fact that it drives this nicely is a lot of the improvements we made in the last few days. The two are happy with how the vehicle is performing on the track and know they still have some fine tuning before they demo the unit to potential clients. Kevin Fleming, CTV News, near Strathmore. Does it not look strange to see it driving around? We'll have to get used to that I more know. and more. Pretty it's cool odd. stuff. Now here's Tara Nelson with the CTV News at 6.